Let's do this. You ready? I'm totally ready. Phenom versus Chucky. Am I seeing the Ganon? Is that a Ganon? Uh, it's no, a, that, uh, it's nope, a very that's pretty Ganon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what you could possibly do to Ganon to make it look like Marth. I can't. I can't come up with anything at all. Yeah, it's just <laughs> yeah I, I, I can't either, man. It's like a. Uh, it's like it's like cleaning up Dwight's Aunt Shirley, like the whole process, <laughs> and somehow, even still, you won't end up with it with Marth. Marth's just too too fresh. I don't think I've seen Phenom play Marth though. Now that that you mention it, don't know that I have either. So this is going to be a treat, I guess, for the stream. Uh, Phenom has such a wide arsenal of characters mm -hmm. to choose from. I guess he's just going to be showing off exactly how pockets, how pockets deep he is, how deep <laughs> his pockets are. That's that's how you English proper. Oh yeah, totally. That's how you England totally. real good. That's how you England real good. Game one in our losers bracket: Phenom versus Chucky. And so far, we're noticing that Phenom has been using the disjoints from Marth to keep Ness out. Ness. Of course, having a couple of disjoints of his own, but overall is going to be falling victim to the fact that he has pretty stubby limbs. He is a child after all. Yep. But let's keep in mind he's a child with home field advantage as well as that PK fire, maybe to try and contest some of the space that Phenom is hoping to work with. Yeah, nice roll off. Getting back to center stage and avoiding that grab. Okay, I respect the decision. The upbeat to try and cut through before Chucky got uh, you know another grab going out, but a little bit too early. Yeah, it, it, it's possible that he was hoping to catch Chucky as he was running in to get the No grab, doubt. But. Okay, nice shield. A little bit mistimed on the PK fire. Now playing the spacing game again, Chucky has been able to retake the percent lead like he was hoping to, but he's getting up quick at his heels. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Using the pullback of the neutral B to make the down tilt safe on shield. Yeah, that, uh, that shield breaker. It, it's like a, the one thing that it did to mix up the timing or the rhythm of this game. Mm -hmm. Ooh, back throw. Is that going to be enough? Yes, it yeah. will. That much rage. Now it's going to be on Phenom to find in this stock. That up air, though. Yeah. That. Okay, I didn't know up air kill at 120. This ain't your, this ain't your melee mark. <laughs> this is definitely <laughs> not your melee mark. <laughs> melee mark would, like... He would do unspeakable things to get that out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Calm animal versus question mark. Question mark, of course, a top player in our region. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back into this game, though. Uh, so far, it feels like Chucky's done a much better job uh, as this set has progressed of uh, dealing with the district mm -hmm. that Mark possesses. Ooh. Getting a lot of value with the PK fires, but Phenom, he's just using Mart's quick speed really to punish Chucky anytime he overextends. Yep, the, the actual reward off the punish though, not that great. Does try to bait out the air dodge, doesn't manage to get it. And yep, now Phenom, you know, he's in a good positional advantage, or was well, half a second ago, but he's still got some deficit on damage. He does have that F smash though. Yeah, so he's gonna yep. need to find a way in at this point. Okay, going for the safe punish, just doing side B. Make sure that he gets the damage. Sword Dance very nearly ties this game up. Something we've seen so consistently from Chucky. He's going to be sending the PK Thunder out towards Phenom whenever he's that close to the ledge. So would, would it be possible maybe to input in something like a counter, get up close? Oh, uh, Possibly. I think um, you'd have to get really really in close with the counter. It might be better to just do something like dash deck or even up B. Right. But yeah, uh, it's, it's an opportunity if you want to call it out. Dead even in game one cross under the three minute mark. Phenom, he gets the fair. He's gonna get a great amount of positioning from this spot. Ooh, up he had a shield, very nice punish on the up air. Not quite enough to finish it, but he is gonna have an opportunity here. Gonna try to counter, oh! and counter. Will definitely finish I, that stock. I thought that he was gonna drop down beforehand, truth be told. Maybe swat away with the fair, but he just had the presence of mind to understand from that position. Chucky doesn't have that many options to yep. recover. Very difficult to weave around the counter from that position. Like, he could go straight up or, like, angle super, super deep. But um, depending on how Phenom spaced it, it would have been pretty uh, pretty easy for him to cover multiple options. Yeah. So. You need the mangle. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was a mangle moment. <laughs> Another Dolphin Slash out of that PK fire. And now Phenom's achieving what he wanted to in the first game, where he's close enough to Chucky where he's going to actually get a reward off of doing it rather than a punish. And you'll notice it looks like the, the jabs are preventing Chucky from getting the grab follow-ups as well mm. after those uh, low land 
uh, forward airs. Yeah, definitely doing a really good job. Wong took E out. That forward air, a little bit too close to the ledge. And another huge counter, but the wow! Very crucial wall tech. Mm -hmm. Big damage on the board now, though. Hmm. Oh. Wow, okay. Just stop being straight out of it. I actually like that decision because even though it gave his opponent a punish, the punish was not grab. And grab is what Chucky would have gotten the most reward off of at the moment. Up there almost to the point where it's going to be killed. A little bit more rage on Phenom and it will do the trick. Oh, yeah. I'm a little bit too far away to be able to get the run and power shield punish. Up ease, but does it the wrong way. Ooh, That's that'll be it. Yep. Now Phenom a stock away from advancing to top eight in our loser's bracket. Our loser's eight, sorry. Okay, nice forward air strings from Phenom. You know, maybe I've seen too much melee, but I was <laughs> waiting for the dare, man. I was just waiting for it. Ooh. Okay, looking like <laughs> Brawlmarth getting the grab releases on Ness. <laughs> Ooh, Chucky encircling that ledge with that Pika Thunder. Again, he knows what the deficit is. He's just trying to get whatever damage he can. Okay, and I really like the jab to LP. That's a pretty clean combination. Nice down tilt, protecting his landing. Not wanting Chucky to get in deep with that dash grab spacing. Grab won't give Phenom all that much from a follow-up standpoint, but wow! <laughs> Making that shield nearly non-existent. Chucky doesn't have that many defensive options and can't really take a hit at this point. Oh, Whoa. a great hunt off of that down tilt check chase. Ready to punish with that up smash. That was perfect. Good. The Thundercats, man. <laughs> oh.